Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I want to talk about the update that was released on the international server on May 14th, 2020, and what the update adds. So let's begin. So this update really just adds four things, okay? The very first thing that it adds is, of course, a banner, the Strategic Master's Destiny Summit. This banner has three heroes, Rainforce, Waller, and Geralt and Layla. So for this banner, I honestly can't recommend it for PvE players, although it's worth something on Pv for PvP players, okay? The reason is because Wilder is very much a PvP-oriented healer, you know. Uh, Tiaris is better than Wilder for PvE content in every way. Okay. This, so that crosses out Wilder, right? Rainforce has very, very, very limited use for PvE content as well. You know, she's primarily a PvP character with AoE strikes and so on. So, and in addition, the only reason you would get him, for me personally, is so that I can have him to unlock Shilinka's bonds. Shilinka is the hero which will be released in around two months. You know? It's the female vampire character or female Crimsonian that's in the plot line, plot story. Right? And finally, for Geralt and Layla, Theoretically, you need Geralt and Layla to unlock Tiaris' fifth bond, her int increasing bond, right? So, if you want a truly, you know, if you want Tiaris to provide as much shilling as possible so that she can get, you know, the plus 13 or 15% attack int and skill increase, you're going to need Geralt and Layla. However, Geralt and Layla has an event coming up where you can get free shards of Geralt and Layla. So, you'll get 50 shards of Geralt and Layla to get the hero, so you don't actually need to summon on this banner to get Geralt and Layla. Off the top of my head, I can't recall when that event is occurring. You know, maybe one of the commenters can leave a comment about when that event will occur in the video description. And then I'll update it in the video description, right? But the fact that that event is coming up means you don't need to summon on this banner for Geralt and Layla at all, right? In fact, that's exactly how I got my Geralt and Layla. Back in the day, there was an event called the Epic Eatery event that gave you a free copy of Geralt and Layla. So, as a result, you truly, truly do not need to summon on this banner if you're, uh, if you're a PvE-oriented player. More importantly as well, next week should be a Juggler, Landius, and Yulia banner. And that's the banner that everyone should summon on as long as they don't, they're missing one of those three heroes. So you're better off saving up for next week. So that covers the banner in detail. Okay. The next thing is that there is now a Glorious Annals of Lodos event occurring, right? And this is a Secret Realm event, so you can access it via the event page or and click Go or go into Secret Realm, Limited Time Events, and click Glorious Annals of Lodos. So as always, these events has an initial uh, battle that you have to do. I'm just going to skip the storyline because I don't plan to do the battle right now and I'm just going to skip this as well and click on the retreat button here to leave the battle so that I can go directly into the event. So you can see here the event has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven locations. Presumably a location will unlock every single day. Um, as always, there's going to be maps to farm for points. You, know, you start off the level 35 battles and go up to the level 55 presumably and the point battles this is a point battle so it's not for items it's for points all it means is you need to keep farming the battle for points until you hit 90,000 points to unlock everything this event as always gives you you know SSR each type of SSR item once it gives you runestone you know some or a column or some of these source elements like uh, bond upgrade materials. And finally, this event also does give you Parn and Pyrotest shards, right? It also gives you a few books, 10 books for the training grounds of each type, SSR books, which is always useful, right? I'm always short on books, so I'm quite happy about that. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the SSR Anarchy training items, which is what I need the most, but can't complain. It's an event, gives you three items, you know, and you're not going to want to farm the event, of course, until the level 55 battles are unlocked, if possible. Last but not least, the recommended heroes here are Listel, Rachel, Omega, Bernhard, Liana, Ultimuller, Matthew, Almeda, 
Lefany and Igbert. So everybody should have recommended heroes to deploy, right? Everyone has Matthew and Almeida at the very worst case. But the spread of heroes is pretty common. Like, everyone should have Lestelle build. Rachel is almost a very common build. Liana is pretty much a must build as well. Ulti Muller, most people have, right? Bernhard is a very common character as well. Omega is less common, but most of the top players will have him. So given this event, it should be a pretty easy farm, right? The widespread of heroes just makes it easy. All right. So that was the second uh, event that came with this update. So other than these two events, the remaining additions to this update are fairly minor. Okay. The third addition is that heart bonds have been unlocked for four heroes, which is all the Lodos War heroes. So for example, if I click on Pyrotes and go into her bonds page, you, if I click on their heart bond in the center, it says as long as I get her bond power level to 35 and the hero level is at 55, you can unlock that heart bond in the middle. Right? Parn has the same thing, even though I don't have Parn unlocked yet. Ashram is the same as well. Yeah. So his heart bond is now unlocked. So I have to get his regular bonds up to level 35, but of course that's going to take time because of lack of gold. Right? My gold is currently going into upgrading priority heroes so and by priority heroes i mean unlocking the bonds of heroes right that eats up so much gold when each upgrade is so expensive so i'm finishing up the bonds of heroes and that's where all my gold is currently going and other than that the last hero who has her heart bond unlocked is the other low lost war hero pyrotes so or sorry deedlet not pyrotes deedlet so deedlet's heart bond in my case i've unlocked it to level eight so far, right? I need to do two more upgrades to max out this heart bond. Um, yeah. And I did it quickly because I have a huge stock of heart bond materials. And then other than that, I also used my guild medals to purchase some of the bond seeds and so on to do the early upgrades. So guild store, you know, in the bottom now you can buy bond seeds to quickly get the materials you need to do these the upgrades all right so that covers all the uh sorry there is one more addition to this major update or minor update what am i saying this is a minor update so the last addition to this update would be for people who put money in the game which is in the store okay it seems with every single update, there is new uh, gift packs that are added, right? And these gift packs always last two weeks. So the new gift pack that's been added with this update is the skin voucher pack. You can purchase two of them. And these skin voucher packs gives you 692 crystals and 98 skin vouchers. Honestly speaking, I think this pack is crap, okay? The reason for that is because if you scroll up, there's a regular skin voucher pack that actually gives you 128 skin vouchers and 50 trinity uh, crystals. So this one gives you 98 skin vouchers, which is 30 less skin vouchers, and 692 crystals, right? So it's really just borderline compared to even the regular skin voucher pack. Keep in mind, occasionally there are skin voucher packs that actually gives you 188 skin vouchers for the $20. And if you're looking for skin vouchers, that's probably the one you want to get. For the 692 Trinity Crystals, you're effectively getting, let's say, 650 Trinity Crystals. And in terms of recharging, right, 600 Crystals for a first recharge is $10, right? So in other words, if you buy privileges for $10 worth, right, you're getting 600 Crystals right there. You purchase Gift of the Goddess twice, you get 600 Crystals for, 10, for $10. So effectively, you're saying you're spending, let's say, $10 for 650 crystals and then $10 for 98 skin vouchers. It's hard to say that's actually worth it, right? So, like I said, very, very borderline. Um, theoretically, I could spend $40 on this and then get 100 and... Sorry. If I spend $40 on this, I will be getting 196 skin vouchers and then, you know, I guess 1400 crystals so I don't know it's the equivalent of as I said it's the equivalent of renewing gift of the goddess 
four times and then paying $20 for the remaining skin vouchers. So I'll think about this one, you know, but at this time I'm going to be waiting to see what rem what gift packs okay, come up for the rest of this month, right? So that's a very borderline purchase, you know. I might actually end up doing it because of trying to hit the total recharge value, but right now I'm still in a wait and see. I would much prefer a gift pack that gives me double the skin vouchers. So let's say a gift pack that gives me 188 skin vouchers for $20. I'd happily purchase that one twice. Okay, so that concludes this video about uh, all the additions with this update on May 14th. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you find this information useful to you. Nitro out.